Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of quadratic equations. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here from this topic, the question tells us that if lambda belongs to R, that is real numbers, and we have been given a condition that says some of the cubes of the roots of equation that is minimum and the equation is given to us as x square plus 2 minus lambda x plus 10 minus lambda equals 0. So this is the quadratic equation given to us and we have been told some of the cubes of the roots of this equation is minimum. Then the question asks us to find out the magnitude of the difference of the roots. So difference of the roots is alpha minus beta and we have been asked just the magnitude, not the sign. So we just need to find the absolute value of alpha minus beta. And if I talk about the answer choices that are present, it is 4 root 2, the second 2 root 5, the third answer choice 2 root 7 and the last answer choice that we have been given here is 20. So we need to figure out which one of the answer choice is the correct answer for the question given to us. Let's understand how do we solve this. So first of all, if I compare my given quadratic with my general form, I get A is 1, B with X. So I know B is 2 minus lambda and C is your constant term, which is 10 minus lambda. So I have ABC with me. Now once I have ABC with me, I know some of the roots that is alpha plus beta is given by minus B by A. So minus of 2 minus lambda over 1, that is lambda minus 2. And alpha into beta is given by C by A. That is 10 minus lambda over 1, that is 10 minus lambda. So you get lambda minus 2, you also get 10 minus lambda as sum and the product of the roots. Now, once you have that, you are use the idea of sum of the cubes of those roots. So alpha plus cube plus beta cube, which is alpha plus beta, the whole cube minus three alpha beta into alpha plus beta. So you have been told this has to be minimum. And if I use the idea alpha plus beta is lambda minus two the whole cube minus 3 this is 10 minus lambda and this is lambda minus 2 so you get here a minus b the whole cube which is a cube minus 3 a square b plus 3 a b square minus b cube minus 3 times if i multiply the two brackets i get 10 lambda minus 20 minus lambda square plus 2 lambda so from here I get lambda cube minus 6 lambda square plus 3 into 4 so 12 lambda minus 8 minus 30 lambda plus 60 plus 3 lambda square and minus into plus is minus so minus 6 lambda. So from here you get lambda cube minus 6 lambda square and plus 3 lambda square. So that is minus 3 lambda square. 12 lambda minus 30 lambda that is minus 18 lambda and minus 18 and minus 6 is minus 24 lambda. And the last part we have minus 8 and plus 60 which is 60 minus 8 which is 54. So you have this entire expression. Now once you have this entire expression, let's say this is a function of lambda and we have been told that sum of the cubes of this quadratic should be minimum. So I want to make this function as minimum as possible. Now, once I want to make this entire function minimum here, I just use the idea of the maxima and minima concept. And that tells us derivative of this function with respect to lambda has to be equal to zero. So if I equate this entire thing with zero, 
let's find the derivative. So derivative of lambda cube is three lambda square minus derivative of three lambda square that is six lambda minus derivative of tw minus 24 lambda is minus 24 because derivative of lambda is one and plus 52 derivative of a constant thing has to be zero. So you get this as equated with zero. Now, once you get that, you just solve it further. You get three lambda square minus six lambda minus 24 equals zero. If I take out three also common, you get lambda square minus two lambda minus eight equals zero. That basically gives you lambda square minus two lambda minus eight equals zero. Now, once I solve this further, I get lambda square minus four lambda plus two lambda minus eight equals zero. From here, I get lambda common lambda minus four plus two lambda minus four equals zero. So from here, I get this as lambda equals four or lambda equals minus two. So you get the two values of lambda that we can have here. That is lambda equals four or lambda equals minus two. Now let's understand which value gives us maxima and which gives us minimum because we need a minimum value. So I will take further the derivative of this entire function. So differentiating that with respect to lambda again. So if I derivate this entire thing that we got, we got that as three lambda square minus six lambda minus 24. So that gives us six lambda for the first part and derivative of this, I can get that as minus six and derivative of constant is zero. So you get six lambda minus six, six taken common lambda minus one. Now, if I put these values of lambda that I have got here, this double derivative, if I put lambda as four, it becomes six into four minus one. So that is 18, which is greater than zero. And this, if I put here six into minus two minus one, which is minus 18, that is less than zero. We know if the double derivative gives us a value greater than zero, it will make it minimum. So you will get minimum value at lambda equals to four. And if you put that here, you get that as maximum. So you get this at lambda equals to minus two, you will have the maximum value of the function of lambda. And here at lambda equals to four, you are going to get the minimum value of the lambda. So you understand we need to find for the minimum value. And for that lambda has to be equal to four. Now, once you have lambda equals to four, if you put that in your equation, so you had this entire equation for lambda. If I put here lambda equals to four, let's see what I get in my quadratic equation. So if I put lambda equals to four here, the quadratic was x squared plus two minus lambda x plus 10 minus lambda equals zero. If I put lambda equals four, you get x squared. 2 and minus 4, so minus 2x, 10 and minus 4, so 6 equals 0. Now, once I have this quadratic equation with me, the question is asking me to find the magnitude of alpha minus beta. So first, let's find out from this quadratic, alpha plus beta will make it minus b over a, which is minus of minus 2 over 1, which is 2. Alpha into beta will make it c over a, which is 6 over 1, which is 6. Now, once I have both of them, I can just find alpha minus beta, which is alpha plus beta, the whole square minus four alpha beta. That is nothing but square of alpha minus beta, the whole square. So you get from here two square minus four into six. So four minus 24, which is minus 20. Now, once I have that as minus 20, I just need to find out the magnitude of alpha minus beta. So from here, if I take the square root, I know square of something is negative means it's nothing but a complex number. So I get square root of 20 into I square. That gives us two root five and square root of I square is I. So you get this complex number, but the question is asking you to find the magnitude of alpha minus beta. So if I write this complex number in its original form, I can write that as zero plus two root five i. That gives me root of zero square plus two root five square. So from here you get zero squared is zero and two root five squared 
write i can write it as it is square and square root gets cancelled and from here you get 2 root 5 as your magnitude of the question asked to you so alpha minus beta becomes 2 root 5 and that matches with option b so b becomes the correct answer for the question given to us here i hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions i'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic and we are going to continue our series of questions on 11 12th as well as jwe mains so stay tuned for more videos to roll out also if you are enjoying this videos that we are doing every day please do like the videos as well and do subscribe to my channel do share these videos with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of questions on JWE. So they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on everyday basis. Thank you.